Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be brainstorming through all sorts of different bases that you can make in your Valheim playthrough. You don't need to make every single one of these bases, but everyone ends up making more or less most of them at some point. Let's get through. First we have the Basic Meadows base. Everyone will start off with some kind of small structure in the meadows. It's the safest place, and it's full of wood, and you'll build something here. Your meadows base really doesn't need that much, because really the purpose of this is to accumulate resources and give you a safe place so that you can go scout and find the spots for your next bases. And After you've spent some time in the meadows, you'll be in the black forest getting copper. And one of the first things that you should do when you start getting into the Black Forest is find a safe house. Safe houses are something that are great to build as you're exploring a new biome in Valheim. A safe house is essentially a structure that uses as little resources as possible. So you find one of these pre-existing structures that Valheim spawns, and then you add, you know, maybe 50 to 100 wood, to make it a basic functioning safe house. And then if you want to in the future, you can upgrade this, turning it into a forge to smelt things, or whatever. In addition to safe houses, you can build things like this, which are basically ore holds. In these biomes, you might actually consider just making a forge, an area that you can smelt the metal, and then put it in a ship or something. It's often easier to do this than it is to get the metal, take it all the way back to your base, or build an actual base inside the Black Forest. Because then you have to deal with trolls and all that sort of thing, and getting the base built and functioning can be a whole two or three playthroughs in itself, right? Here we are at our Swamp Forward Base. This is very similar to what you just saw, except instead of being right in the biome, like right in the Black Forest, it's a little bit far away. There's this really convenient little meadows island right here. And then a nice big old swamp right over there that has seven or eight crypts in it. Plenty of iron for us. Just like with other biomes, you'll need to make a forward base in the swamp. And it can actually be a bit more tricky. The best way to make a forward base in the swamp is to explore the edges with a carve. And don't really get out of the boat because you're going to encounter enemies as soon as you get out of the boat. So try and stay away from the land so you don't aggro them. You'll find these sort of platform-like things, except they'll be all screwed up. I've brought some wood to the swamp and the boat and fixed this one. So what you'll need to do is bring maybe 100, 150 wood, bring as much as you can hold because it's really hard to get in the swamp. And then once and now that you're at the Iron Age, you might be looking for an additional project to do. So building a fishing dock is a great option. As you're sailing around, you'll find these sort of little islands that barely have any land on them. And if I keep going, look how shallow it is right there. This allowed me to build this nifty little fishing dock. And this isn't just for looks. If you fish here, this is long enough that you can fish, exhaust all the fish over here, and then keep running. And by the time you get to the other end, all the way over here, the zone has sort of changed, and the fish have respawned. So by making a really long fishing dock like this, you can just sort of endlessly fish as long as you would like to. This Next in your adventure, you'll be getting into the mountains. And the mountains, boy are they treacherous. Having forward bases set up is going to be very helpful in that endeavor. They don't need to be that big, you need a bit of storage, workbench, portal, and the main thing to keep here is a supply of frost resistance. So you either need the frost resistance meads that you can make, or if you make the wolf capes, those give frost resistance. So do some other items in the game. So as you explore the mountains from your forward base, keep an eye out for different structures. If you're lucky, you'll find one of these towers. And these are my favorite things to use in the mountains because they're basically finished. Much like the swamp, Bonfires are really useful in the mountains because they mean that you don't have to build as much to accommodate for the fireplace. All you need to do is have a bonfire outside and keep it lit. Your bonfire will keep the inside of your base warm. From this point on, you might consider really investing in a proper base. 
Because now, once you're in the mountains and you've started to explore, you're at the point where if you find a spot that you like, that has lots of plains nearby, access to water, and mountains, you're looking at most of the rest of your playthrough. And even better, if there's mislins a little bit saleable away, then boom, you really have a solid spot for your end game base. That's when you need to start keeping an eye out for one of these magical spots that's close to everything that you want. This the next place you might be insane enough to try and build something in is the Mistlands. One of the first things you'll need to do is get your own safe house. And the Mistlands is filled with really awesome, beautiful Dverger buildings. You'll just need to clear out the inhabitants a bit so that you can build in it. But once you've done that and destroyed the ward, you'll have a safe house. And these places are the best. This actually isn't the best spot because you can see here, there's mislands that are islands, right? And then there's mislands that is the main continent. What you want to be exploring are the mislands that are the main continent. The islands are great if you're in a boat, but if you're not in a boat, you don't want to be there, really. You have to have a boat to explore the islands. If you want to explore on foot, you need to explore this main continent here. And so consider that when you're finding your safe house. Ideally, you can portal into the main continent, not one of these islands, because you can see here. Now, for our final base recommendation, we sort of have to think about the future. And right now, as of me making this video, the future is Ashlands. So, I don't want to explore the Ashlands because that would lock the areas I've explored, but what I might want to do is make a base so that when the Ashlands comes out, I have a cool place to go campaign and go on raids and explore it. So, and that's it for this video, everybody. If you want to support my work, then consider purchasing your own Valheim server from Zap. You can check out my tutorial all about doing that. Also, comment below if you want a tutorial about something. I love making Valheim videos, and it's a really fun way for me to play the game. Thanks for watching. Share this with your friends as well, because really, that's the way that you can support me more than anything else. If you know another Valheim player who you think would actually like my videos, then tell them about my channel. Because I want to just focus on making good, informative Valheim videos. You know, I don't, I don't like having to deal with all the marketing and talking myself up and all that crap. And I'm hoping if I just focus on making really fun, informative videos that inspire people to play Valheim and have fun and create things, that you guys will share it for me and you'll deal with that so I don't have to get too distracted and I can focus on the content, you know what I mean? Anyway, thanks for watching. Comment below if you have any questions or you want me to make a video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!